Hello and welcome to this overview of Tanzu Application Catalog. In this video, we'll be discussing what Tanzu Application Catalog is, how it works, and the value it brings to an organization. Now, organizations today are creating a lot of software. Then they need to consume a lot more software in order to create their own applications. Developers use application runtimes and tools to build applications that will differentiate an organization's product in the market. But to create those applications, they shouldn't need to create all the infrastructure components like caching, databases, logging tools, and the like. For some of these tools, organizations may choose to procure licensed and supported software from a vendor. But for everything else, there is open source software. But for open source software, how do organizations get access to the software they need? Well, if they're building container-based applications, traditionally, there have been two categories of choice. Public repositories, like Docker Hub, offer a plethora of software, everything an organization could ever need, sometimes from multiple sources. But that's a double-edged sword. Who maintains those packages? Are the images scanned for vulnerabilities? Is the base OS updated? Depending on the answers to these questions, a public repo can leave an organization vulnerable to exploitation. Next, a public cloud marketplace offers an interesting alternative here. Their selection is often much more curated and controlled, with policies about keeping images up to date. But what if your organization is multi-cloud, or hybrid, with a mixture of on- and off-premises infrastructure? Public cloud marketplaces just aren't incentivized to make their software run anywhere, just on their cloud. So in a perfect world, an organization would be able to maintain its own private repository and fill it with all the open source software it needs. And that repository would be backed by automation that would be consistently pulling the upstream projects, then testing, building, and packaging those applications. And that engine would also monitor the base OS, even custom ones for updates, and rebuild and upload containers automatically. Well, that's exactly what Tanzu Application Catalog does. Now let's see how it works. Here we see the primary interface for Tanzu Application Catalog. Let's go through an onboarding flow and see how all of this works. The first thing you want to do is design your catalog. A catalog, in this context, maps to a private artifact repository within your organization. This means you could have one catalog for your entire organization, or broken down by business units, or even at the team level. However granular your repositories need to be designated, Tanzu Application Catalog is flexible enough to accommodate. Next, let's select the type of repository we want to create. For now, we'll just create a container repo, but there is an option for automatically creating Helm charts if you need. Then, pick your base OS. Let's select something simple for now. Now, link your catalog to your private repository. Finally, you want to decide what is needed in this repo. Tanzu Application Catalog makes this as easy as picking off of a list. And if there's something not available in this list that you need, just let the team know. The selection is broad today, but the Tanzu team is committed to growing it even more. And that's it. Tanzu Application Catalog is now building your custom images and pushing them into your repo. Let's take a look at what that looks like. Here, we see the images Tanzu Application Catalog is managing. Notice we have specific versions for some applications. This is for customers who require specific application versions, but still want the base OS patched, for example. Now let's take a look at one of these assets and see what additional information Tanzu Application Catalog can show us. Here, we see metadata about the MariaDB container. We see the address for the image in GCR, which is our organization's repository in this hypothetical example. We also have a manifest link and some downloadable reports from automated security scans. Let's take a look at those next. Now, I've downloaded both of these files and opened them in VS Code. First, the ClamAV scan report. Notice that it has scanned every directory in this image and provided a structured report of output. This can be very useful for auditing. Also useful for auditing, the CVE scan results. Here we see that every package within the container was scanned, and any CVEs found were patched and resolved. Finally, let's navigate to the URL of the manifest. The manifest shows even more metadata about the image, including the size, links, tags, and all the components which make it up. Now, let's take a look at GCR directly and see what Tanzu Application Catalog has added there. Here, we see organized folders, each representing our image assets. And clicking in, we see all of the independent images created by the Tanzu Application Catalog. These represent either updates to the base OS or the application upstream project. Notice that the tags are semantic and predictable. 
This allows your CI-CD pipelines to pick up these images, test them, and push them out into production in accordance with your organization's already existing practices. So that's what Tanzu Application Catalog does and how it works. But what's really happening behind the scenes? So here we have an operator working for an organization. She would like to give her developers access to the best open source software available. So she sets up a private container repository using GCR, Harbor, or something similar. Then she sets up her first catalog. And once the catalog is created and the necessary software selected, Tanzu Application Catalog goes to work. It goes and pulls the latest version of code from the upstream repositories. In this case, we're using MariaDB again as our example. Concurrently, it pulls the latest base OS image, either from the upstream open source project or from the organization's repository for its own custom OS. Then, it builds those assets into a container. That container is subjected to a battery of tests, including but not limited to the CLAM AV and CVE scans we saw earlier. Then, and only if that container passes all of these tests, the container is pushed to your repo. From there, developers have access to those images just as they would from any other repository. They can be pulled with Docker files, CI CD pipelines, or any other methods supported by your repository. So that's it. With Tanzu Application Catalog, your organization can have access to your own, private, tested repository of open source software. If this sounds interesting to you, contact your favorite VMware representative today, or be on the lookout for more information from VMware coming in the near future.